This Block Bites video illustrates a lateral in-plane approach to the popliteal sciatic nerve block, as performed by one of my trainees. As discussed in my more comprehensive video on the popliteal block, there are two patterns of orientation of the common perineal nerve and tibial nerve at the sciatic bifurcation. One is what I call the up-down orientation, as seen here. With this pattern, the safest way to introduce the needle into the safe zone of the perineal sheath between the two nerves is one, to use an out-of-plane approach, or two, to use an in-plane approach, but not inserting the needle at the edge of the probe. Rather, the needle should be inserted a distance below the probe so as to safely bypass the common perineal nerve. The depth markings on the screen should be used as a guide. In this slim patient, about 1.5 centimeters is appropriate. The final point to note is that I prefer a view like this one, where the two nerves are not too close together, which creates a larger safe zone for entry. The needle tip should be identified before getting too close to the nerve. Note, however, that the needle may have to be advanced a couple of centimeters before it appears within the feel of the ultrasound beam. Make seesawing needle motions plus small sliding probe movements to achieve alignment. Aim to pass under the perineal nerve at a tangent to it. Note tenting of the perineal sheath as we press forward in a controlled manner. Elastic recoil and the tactile pop will signal that it is pierced. And hydrolocation confirms this. We can see local anesthetic spreading around the common perineal nerve. And the question now is whether the needle tip needs to be repositioned to ensure spread around the tibial nerve. We can answer this by scanning away from the needle along the nerve. I recommend moving cranially a centimeter or so and then injecting. You should see fluid distension if the needle tip is in the correct plane, and we can see too that spread is occurring around the tibial nerve. The sheath behaves like a pair of trousers to direct and contain the spread of local anesthetic. If we are in the correct place, local anesthetic will spread up and down within the sheath. The full volume of 20 or more milliliters can be injected here. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out the other videos in the channel for more tips and tricks.